More on the tragic developments in Charlottesville, let's bring in Mark Levin. He's a Democratic delegate member of the Virginia House of Delegates, the state legislature, and a talk show host. Uh, first, Mark, uh, the nation's thoughts, certainly, and our prayers go out to what Charlottesville and your state has suffered tonight. Uh, you just heard the president. He says the hate and division must stop. What steps do you think he should take? Well, first of all, I think Senator Marco Rubio is absolutely right. He needs to condemn the terrorist attack. The person in the car that hit the bunch of people who were opposing white supremacy clearly seems to have done so intentionally. And I think he needs to call a terrorist attack for what it is. You know, we had terrorist attacks in London and in Paris where people intentionally hit people with cars. This is as much a terrorist act as that. Uh, you know, some would say, though, we may not have all the facts. I mean, we don't have the information from the police on who the driver is yet. We just know that person is in custody. Uh, I mean, are there other steps that, that the government should take uh, to try to tamp down some of the language and, and some of the, the, the tone and tenor of what we've seen? Well, I think the president needs to condemn white nationalism, needs to condemn white supremacy, needs to make clear that all Americans have the right to their views. This isn't about the statues anymore. This is about a bunch of people who came out with torches last night in Charlottesville to make people afraid, much like the Ku Klux Klan did of old. And they shouted things like white power. They shouted Nazi slogans. You know, hundreds of thousands of Americans died in World War II to oppose Nazism. This isn't something up for debate. This is something that all Americans, Republicans and Democrats, need to oppose. And, you know, I salute Marco Rubio for calling them out. I think it's time for the president to do so. You know, he did condemn in his statement, you know, hatred and bigotry, he said. Uh, he said, we're all Americans first, and this, this must stop. Uh, so in your view, what you're saying tonight at this hour is that that's, not, that's just not enough. Well, in my view, it's, it's wrong to equivocate between two sides. It's wrong to treat as equals people who are promoting white supremacy, people who want to put their foot on other Americans' throats, and people who are marching for equality and justice. Now, violence by anyone is bad. I don't care who it comes from, uh, left or right or whomever. But these are not two equal ideologies. There's an ideology of hatred and an ideology of love. And I would really like to see the president, as, as Senator Rubio, did call him out and say this hatred is not what America stands for. Well, and did, I think once I mean, he does that, to be fair to him, he did say that. I mean, he said, "Well, this is not wh wh who we are." Uh, but I mean, that you're saying that there are other steps that they should take. That he wasn't yes. strong enough in your yeah. View. It's not just condemning hatred because it's easy to condemn hatred and violence. I certainly condemn hatred and violence on all sides, but. He needs to specify that white supremacy is wrong because these white nationalists, these neo Nazis, and I've got one in my home city of Alexandria, are preaching hate. They're trying to stir up hate. They're trying, and this has no place in America. They have a right to their free speech, but we have a right to speak out and condemn them for it. And I think the president will do this. I think he should do this. Mm -hmm. I hope he does this. And, and uh, you know, it's time for all of us to come together as Americans, no matter what background we are, and say that supremacy is wrong. You know, and when you see this, when you see that horrendous video of that car slamming into the other car and someone flying in the air, then it backs up. And there are reports there were no license plates on the car that some people may have been saying, you know, telling the driver where to go. Do you think it could have been a planned attack? You know, what are your thoughts uh, tonight about, you know, exactly how that went down? I think it was intentional. Look, I don't have all the facts just like you don't, but a car with no license plate, I saw the videos. It looked like it was intentionally plowing into people and then backing up. It certainly looks intentional to me. Everyone's innocent until proven guilty, but I would hope if, if this is intentional that, that that person is locked away for a very long time. And now there are reports this evening, uh, just within the last 20 minutes, that a police helicopter may have gone down uh, about seven miles from the protest sites. Two people on board. Uh, we do not have any statement yet. It is not confirmed from authorities and it is just horrible I mean if you you have the law enforcement folks trying to protect us uh, and if this uh, chopper did go down and if there are casualties who don't know that that is just a stab in the heart to the soul of this country when you're dealing with uh, you know what we saw unfold today it really is, and it's really hard on the Virginia police. Uh, they've, they've got a really hard battle. They, people, again, have free speech rights, but they've got to separate people who are violent. And I, I hope to God it's not true that the chopper went down. And if it did go down, I hope certainly that everyone is okay. And my thoughts and prayers go to everyone who works in, in Virginia, the, the, the police and others, who are just trying to make us safer. I, I really hope the story turns out not to be true, yeah, but certainly. we'll find out. We will uh, get the very latest as we have it, when, when we get it. And finally, Mark, um, you know, as a Virginian, what goes through your 
your heart and what goes through your mind today as you saw this unfold. We saw the, the torchlight, you know, protest last night with those tiki torches going through the University of Virginia, the heart of the, uh, uh, the heralded prestigious university founded by Thomas Jefferson that represents democracy and freedom and what this, the ten, very tenets of what our nation is based on, these democratic yeah. ideals. And then we see what happened unfolded today. What are your this, is, this is not what Virginia is all about. I understand many of the people who, who came in are from out of state, but this is not what America is all about. We've gotten beyond this, I would hope, and I don't want to see us return to days of civil war, days of, of preaching supremacy. We, we need, that's why we need to call it out so strongly right now. I think it's a very, very small group of people, people who probably should be ignored, but when they come in with torches, they're just trying to get attention, and they're getting that attention, and then, of course, it can lead to violence. So I just think if we call it out in the strongest terms and make clear this is not Virginia. I know it's not Charlottesville. Charlottesville is a wonderful, peaceful university town of very good people. These people aren't from Charlottesville, and I, I highly doubt they're from Virginia. Well, maybe a few. Yeah, they are playing with fire, and today, so sadly, it had a tragic result, and we will continue on this very troubling story as it develops this evening. Mark Levine, a uh, member of the delegates of the uh, Virginia State Legislature, thank you for joining us. Thank you for inviting me. Of course. Laura?